Oh, all right, guys, good morning. It's uh, about 10 o'clock on Saturday morning, and I just can't leave well enough alone. I'm back out in the shade garden. I went and dug up and repositioned a couple of sprinklers, like over there. Uh, I found one here. Uh, I also worked on that, but the, as you've known through the other vlogs, my biggest concern is irrigation. And these guys ain't cutting it. They kind of push out enough, but not quite. Well, I have a cutoff valve here with a filter on it, and I haven't seen both cutoff valve nor filter since the hurricane. And I think it's right about here. So, what I'm going to do today is, is well, for the next few minutes at any rate, I'm going to attempt to get all the tree stuff, which is a lot of tree stuff. And if you've noticed, I've been cleaning in here. Just so they'd take you along for the ride. I'm um, going to attempt to get the tree stuff going. That way, uh, or the tree stuff gone, which, like that. And then maybe it'll reveal itself. And then I can unscrew the, the local system and clean it and pressure will go up and... I'll find hundreds of sprinklers, and our whole world will be happy. Anyhow, uh, I got one more thing. If you get a chance, uh, please hit subscribe, hit like if you like it, if you want more of this material. Um, also, you know, comment, man. Let me know you're out there. Um, so... I'm going to cut you off while I do the hard work, and then I'll point to the piles and show you what I've done. All right, thanks. All right, guys, I think I'm going to try this so you can see what's going on. But uh, there's a lot of wind, and it looks like it's going to rain sometimes. So I'll apologize if it gets that way. this whole area right here I can't see a whole lot that's why I need my clippers so I can just cut the hole pull that out well I'm gonna stop it because it's just getting way too hot so uh, this will be my goal next couple of days so stay with me um, hopefully by the end of vlog 7 we'll have it all done and this will be set I'm all ready to fix all the irrigation woes from vlog 6 <clears throat> vlog hey guys one more look you know like I always do um, yeah I'm sitting here I did one more try at trying to find the water over here and I've been digging around here. I did one more try. So I couldn't have um, 
I could have let it bury. It's 20 years old, by the way, the system. I figured I put it in 2004 as the first system. And you see I have the sticks there, and I'm, I was getting ready to start poking. And I looked real slow and carefully from way over there to here. And look in the middle of the coffee. There it is. So what I got to do is get this stuff out of the way, which is... Easier said than done. So, yep, there it goes. Um, yeah, and start to dig it out, see if I can unscrew it, turn it on, turn it off. I got water going to the system right now. I believe the problem is right in there is right where it connects up. Um, I got tangled up with a wait a minute. Let's see what we got. Wait a Coffees. There it is. And look, somewhere in here. Water. One side or the other. I wonder if that got buried. Anyhow, this is the deal. Right there. Right there, that's where I'm worried. Okay, that looks like not anymore. Ah. Here we go. I've got about three quarters of the way open. I'm hoping there's a filter in there. Yep, look at that filter. Look at that thing. That's the problem right there. You know what? I've got filters everywhere. So I'm actually going to go ahead and put this back in. No, I can't. Doesn't have a... It doesn't have a washer. Okay. All right, that looks, let's, let's open this up. I know we're not seeing that out here. Okay, let's see if we can just wash this. Woo! I hope you're waterproof. Or at least not water soluble. Yeah, that thing's still got a lot in it. Alright. We know how to do this, right? Sorry I got you all wet. I'm going to turn you off, put it all back together. Guys, here we go. Look at the water. Oh, sorry. Ooh. Look at the water. That water now covers about 20 feet. Look at this stuff. Right here. Very cool. The big one is the weak one, which is down. Well, there's two of them. That one was really weak. Now it reaches the begonia and these guys who are, have been rotting out underneath the ferns. And what else? What I worry about is that one right there. God, I can't, I can't tell you how happy I am on this one. Look, the spray. Now there's a second one in here. And I don't know, we'll be digging around for that. That's amazing. See, it's getting the caladiums now, like it used to. Where else? There's one there, but it's dead. I need a new, I need to remember to bring a clean, uh, um, a clean one. When it's not stuck with dirt. This guy has nothing in it. But it should be squirting like son of a gun. Yeah, it's good. It's a good steady flow. Uh, this guy, look at it. 
I can hear stuff in here too. I can't tell you anything about what I can hear it. All right, that's what I thought I'd show you. It's a Sunday still. I'm uh, pretty happy. I still gotta clean this place. Uh, I guess that's what I'll do in the afternoon because I just, I figured out the problem. I, even the bromeliads right there are getting wet now. Oh, that's awesome. about 300 or about 102 or 103 right now it's one two o'clock Sunday afternoon I just wanted to get this done remember this was the piney forest this was the big geyser see what I'm using is a pair of needle nose if you work it right it'll pull it out you can reuse the Compression fittings. See? Alright, now I've already cut this guy. Obviously, I'm not going to be. I'll probably go a little bit like that. It just seems that now I can see it. Yeah, I got cars that sound better. <laughs> That's a good response, right? <clears throat> okay. Took me all about five seconds, didn't it? I'll screw this thing in and make sure it's in. Yep. This is all scrap that I'm using right now. Years of doing this. Okay, I'm gonna just gonna turn it on and make sure it doesn't explode. One of the things that's happening around here is that my wife and I both have noticed it's more Mediterranean than it is tropical anymore. Ten years or so. All right, turned it on. Get a little bit of water seeping. I can hear water out here. Yeah, I don't know where it is, but I'm sure. Let's just go around. I gotta run it for a long because this is uh, the heat of the day. Oh yeah, and we have. Yeah, this is a bad top, so I'll just get a new top for it. I might even put it back on with a wait a minute vine around it. Ha ha ha, look at that, look at that. That's a lot of pop, that's a lot, a lot of pressure. You got a couple nice pines out here too. I hear something in here. I feel it too. Where is it? Oh, there it is right there. Man, we're doing pretty good now. All right. I've got a few sprinkler heads to clean or replace. Is, um, I'm going to try to find the water line. <laughs> Back to water lines. Um, in uh, way out in our outside gardens. But over past the spirit garden, which is this guy right here which is going into epic clean up, clean up and 
mode once I finish the shade or once I get the shade to a point. Um, but I've got outside stuff like this, which is getting no water, which used to get water. And the water does come, but it doesn't come out. It's, I've already retraced this line. And that one doesn't work. But I haven't got to the source because it's all buried and, and root, root and stuff. I have a tentative line here. Um, but I can't find the main line to plug it in. Now, I've got water over here where the tree fell on everything in the hurricane. Of course, this area is going to get more cleaned up, even more cleaned up than it has already. Uh, this was impassable before you see the pile I did. That I cut in about three days. But all of this stuff here, this sprinkler, that sprinkler, and then there's another one that's torn up over in the other side that, that's squirting out water. Those are fine. But that brown line that I showed you that I said doesn't have any water goes to the same area. Um, if I can get or find the line which is over here because it comes from there from the where I was showing you the tree fell down if I can find the line over here I can um, tap it right in this area it would be perfect um, I've done so many investigations on this right now that it's over the last month and a half that I'm almost thinking that it's pumping its own water <laughs> Which, of course, we all know is wrong. But this guy right here, I've dug in between the roots of my uh, uh, my giant philodendron. Which I love. And I get it going. Once we get through all this stuff, I get it going this way. But it's so encrusted in roots and stuff. It's out here that I can't really you can't tell from one to the other if it's one of these roots or these roots or the water line so my real hope is that right there we go through which I've already done about a foot and a half and I'm gonna try to lift up whatever's there if it's a root um, I'll relax it if it's the water line. I'll um, tap it. It's been going on for a while. I think I found it. I've gone all the way up to there, about two feet, or about a foot in. They got a lot of the blackberries because I was underneath them. But I just went through here. And everything else sounds great. And there's this ah, twig right there. I'm not gonna tell you what it is because I quite frankly don't know. I know what that is, blackberry. All this is, all this stuff is too. So right in what I would call a, officially a bramble. Wait for it. See it? There it is. So it goes that way. So it should be right there. I think it's covered with roots over here. This part used to be sticking out. Yeah, I don't see it here. Might be as curved. All right. I'm, uh, 
I'm happy right here. Which now I don't see it. Okay. So just in case you didn't know this, this is what I did this morning. You saw half of them. I decided to come out and do another half. We got people coming through all over the place. But man, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight bags. And I brought two back because I'm just like totally sweated up. Uh, I don't know if you can tell. It's like I can hardly see. I'm streaming so much sweat. So, guys, uh, I'm going to end the Thursday right now and try to get this vlog out by tomorrow afternoon. All right. This is Dave saving our sanctuary. I hope you're having a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. And I'm out.